Are you God's friend or God's enemy? The Bible makes it clear that we're all enemies of God. At least we were. We were all enemies of God. We were dead in our trespasses and sins. We followed our own way rather than God's way. We were even called children of the devil. And because of all that, the Bible says that we were children of God's wrath. We deserved God's wrath. Keep that in mind. And that's true of all of us, every single one of us. So in Exodus chapter 14, we read about the story where Moses parted the Red Sea. They walk through the Red Sea on dry ground. The Egyptian army follows them. And then God confuses the Egyptian army and they can't cross. Their wheels aren't going straight. <laughs> They're getting confused. In Exodus 14, 14, Moses reminded the people of Israel, um, just be silent, the Lord will fight for you. And then Pharaoh's army recognizes that the Lord is fighting for them. And then of course, the culmination of all this is that the people of Israel cross the Red Sea on dry ground. Pharaoh's army is in the midst of the Red Sea when the waters engulf them. And it says at the end in Exodus 14, 28, I think, that not one of them survived. They were God's enemies, deserving of God's wrath, and not one of them survived. Here's the thing, God does judge. He judges his enemies. God is love, and yet God also hates sin. And the reality is that we're all sinners, but God's judgment is also complete. And just as God loves with a perfect love, God also judges with a perfect judgment. And because we've all sinned, not one of us will survive. God will wipe out all sin and sinners. There will be no sinners in eternity. But we usually think of God's judgment as him punishing. And it's true, there is punishment for sin and sinners. But the New Testament makes clear that Jesus himself is the judgment of God. He took on God's judgment and he is God's judgment. The way that God wipes out all sin and sinners isn't just through our death. I mean, that is part of it. Dying, you shall die because we sinned. But it's through Christ. It's through Christ crucified on the cross. God judges sin by Jesus himself becoming sin and then dying on the cross so that our sin is forgiven and not one of us will survive. The New Testament makes it clear that Jesus is the savior of the whole world. Yes, we need to believe. Yes, we need to repent. Yes, we need to confess Jesus Christ as our savior and Lord. But the New Testament makes it clear that every single one of us will do that. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Not one of us will survive. You see, Jesus calls us to deny ourselves take up our cross and follow him. That means dying, we shall die. We will die to our old self, we will die to our sin, and we will follow Jesus. That's the gospel. <laughs> the gospel isn't simply that you believe in Jesus and be forgiven of your sins. The gospel is that God makes you new in Christ. And it's good news of great joy that you'll be for all the people. So, trust in Jesus and follow him. Don't put it off. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow.